Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Jordan. And today, I'm continuing my Christmas movie marathon by reviewing a short. Yep, an animated short, folks. And yeah, I'm going to be reviewing another animated film since I've already done this already. Since I've done it before, I just figured, why not? Why not just continue it? So, with that being said, Let's just, you know, talk about the plot, shall we? So, it's going to be pretty straightforward since the this film isn't very long anyway. So, as you can see, the focus of this animated flick is going to be this little kid. There's this angel named Tommy with the help of a dog and mouse who tries to give uh, a less fortunate boy and girl a teddy bear and doll for Christmas. So they're basically going all their way to really trying to help others, I guess you can say, which in itself is rather a hard woman to guess. So that's basically the summary of this, folks. You know, he comes down from heaven. Yeah, they're doing like a religious thing kind of thing with here, folks. And they try to make him seem like a good hearted angel. And of course, he wants to do what's right, no matter what the obstacle is. And of course, he just deems it as an as a necessary tool to bring you know, the goodness and nature of people, I guess you can say. And that's basically the movie. That's it. So, I didn't think this was a very good film, honestly, folks. And I didn't like the voice acting, really. The voice acting came off okay, I guess. And the, the character designs are, I guess, cute, which was the intention, so I can't really get I just little movie that much. It was intended to be, it was intended to be cute anyway, so you know, can't really complain about that. So overall folks, this film didn't I didn't find this film interesting really folks. Because it's like those the characters themselves weren't really at danger at all. So you're without me giving out the end, you already know how this is gonna end. That's probably my whole plot I have with this. It's very, it's very predictable. Very, very predictable. So, I was actually pretty bored while watching this, folks. So, there was nothing thrilling or engaging. I know it's a kid's movie, but that doesn't excuse lazy writing. So, another thing I would like to bring up real briefly is that, yeah, I know many people out there do believe that this season is the birth season for Jesus Christ. But when you get down to it, it's not. The ultimate irony in, in all this is that it's a pagan holiday. Yep, you heard me right, folks. Christmas is a pagan holiday, not a Christian one. I know some people will be taking what just said as blasphemy, which it isn't. I don't hate Christians. If you believe in the Bible, that's all fine and dandy. And I just thought this film was misinformed in a lot of ways. But... Other than that, I just felt like there was no real purpose for this film, really. I mean, I know it was intended for kids or whatever, and they're trying to be cutesy wootsy about some things. Why if this isn't the absolute worst special scene? Like I said earlier, I just found it boring. Really, really boring. There's nothing clever about it. The writing itself is pretty bland. So, yes and no, this was you know, an animated short, I'm fully aware of that. But that doesn't mean the writing itself can't be good. So, overall, a pretty flawed animated thing, folks. So, yeah, I'll give a, a few examples of what I'm trying to say here. Or I should say several examples. So, any of these shorts right here, I can say we're definitely a thousand times better than this from a reviewing folks because these animated shorts right here actually have something worth saying something worth uh, pointing out so a lot of these actually came became instant classics i've remembered over the years and that's definitely a good thing you should have something to convey over the screen something that's worth telling of course and there's of course different formats in different ways in which you can tell the story. So, I guess you can make it interesting despite the length of, you know, the film itself. So, that's the thing, folks. And 
I feel that this animated feel feature isn't really remembered like at all. It doesn't really remembering worth remembering at all. At least not in my eyes anyway. And so again, this is obviously not a stab towards somebody personal personal belief system obviously. I'm just judging this film as a short animated movie. That's it. So I didn't find anything memorable about the character or anything. And there's nothing in this film I found rem memorable. I found the music to be rather generic. The art style, it, the art style is serviceable, I guess you can say. So it's just the overall I, story, I guess you can say. This is nothing special. It's th this kind of stuff I've seen before, you know, a boy. Angel or not, going on some adventure, looks like talking animals, and of course, must trying to do something nice, just different scenes of land and whatnot, and of course, the boy himself, of course, he's, he might be naive to the world, but he wants to do what's right anyway. Of course, you know, he has some friends, of course, and yeah, it's just even the story itself is pretty generic, you know what I'm saying? So there's nothing really interesting per se. So this, this film just came off to me that seen it, done it before kind of a thing. So I've seen this kind of features before folks. So there's not nothing really outstanding about this film really, is all I'm saying. Not the worst thing I've seen, but still. Ah, Mr. Monkey. Go and get. No. How many times have no? I ain't getting you this. No, just yeah, just go use the bathroom or something. Go away. So I must punish this movie. Yeah, like I said, folks. Like I said a moment ago, folks. It's not exactly the worst thing I've ever seen. I just thought it was just plain, just very, very bland overall, folks. <sighs> Maybe it's just me, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it just became a Scrooge over the years, I suppose. So I obviously didn't like it really. I really didn't like this film overall. I didn't think it was that well written as a whole. I'm not, I'm not staying. I'm only reviewing it because it's on my, you know, the do list. Yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Yep. It's on my stuff. Yeah, I gotta do it, folks. I review it. It's on my list. Which I've been showing for quite some time. Yes, sir. Well, there you have it, folks. Another review of another awful cartoon for Christmas. And. Oh boy, I really didn't like this one at all. I need to adjust the line a little bit. Hold on, folks. <clears throat> there you go. You'll see me better. So yeah. Another review for another awful cartoon for Christmas. And... And as some people might be thinking, I might have a grudge against Christians or whatever. Which I don't. In case you're wondering. But I'm applying the matter. Get your facts straight. You hate when pe you hate it when people lie to you, yet you lie yourself. Come on, don't be that person. But anyway, okay. Aside from the uh, obvious, you know, false lie that really this actually got some good reviews, pretty high score. This is all it takes to make a good movie, folks. I mean, seriously. <sighs> Whatever. I guess the false teaching that Christmas was Jesus' birthday, which it wasn't. On that aside, there's not much of a story really to speak of, actually. And yeah, I know this was a short, but that shouldn't matter because you, you can still tell a great story with a limited amount of time. So. Yeah, the, uh, the animation seems nice. The animation itself seems nice, and I did like the art style. That, but that's only like the only two good things I can say about this film. The animation was terrible, and the art style was nice. That's about it. That's just thought overall this movie was pretty generic. Overall, very bland, very bland. So yeah, I really didn't like it, folks. I thought it, it was it was. In some ways, it was pretty bad. So, I, no, no, I just don't like it. It'll get an overall rating of a 4.5 out of 10. It's a 4.5 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching.
and take care. Up until next time, see ya. Oh yeah. I need a drink or something. Oi.